Welcome to garden time. We're actually going to visit my parents' garden this time. So let's go down the walkway past the smokehouse and the barn and see how their garden grows. Now they have more land than I do so they can put in a pretty substantial vegetable patch. And because it gets lots of sun, their plants are already pretty big. Looks like they have some green beans that they need to pick. They've already done one pass and looks like they're going to have to do another real soon. Their potatoes are growing really nice. And they've already gone through and picked their cucumbers and such like that. So right now they just have little babies that are still growing. The corn is looking really good this year. And you can see a little baby squash. And it looks like they're going to have a bumper crop of zucchini. And now to the tomato side. The tomatoes are huge and it looks full. Look at all those green tomatoes just waiting to turn red. I did find some little cherry tomatoes. And yes, I did eat a few, but we'll just keep that a secret. And now my mom found this recipe for zucchini fritters from another YouTuber named Whipper Will Holler. And I will link her video in the description box below. But mom got started by shredding her zucchini. And then to that, she added the eggs, panko crumbs, regular breadcrumbs, salt, garlic powder, pepper, shredded cheese, parmesan. And then she added a little bit of onion powder. And we found that we really like the taste of it. So I would recommend adding that. Now you're gonna give that a good stir. And mom used a little melon baller just to scoop it up and place it on her baking sheet. You can use parchment paper or your silicone mats. We used both and found the silicone mats actually worked better. Once you have your little scoops on the tray, go ahead and pop that in a 400 degree oven. You'll bake it for about 20 to 25 minutes. And boy, do they come out golden and beautiful. It was seriously hard not to eat one right there, but we did let them cool off this time. <laughs> and now we plated them up, and we decided to have a vegetable dinner this time. We had fresh corn on the cob, green beans from mom and dad's garden, and of course those beautiful fritters, some fresh cucumber from their garden, Pop that with a roll and you have a country meal fit for a king. And now after dinner I went out to see what I could see in their backyard. They like to feed lots of animals, so you never know who's going to pop their little head up out of a tree to look at you looking at them. They also have tons of little bunny rabbits that run all around their yard. They make their nests and have little babies every year. And they feel perfectly safe in their yard as they know that no one's going to hurt them. We also went out to the chicken coop to check on the girls. Mom has three chickens currently, but maybe adding some more. After getting the one egg that they laid, they had a good time trying to figure out what my camera was and why I was in their coop. And 
next time I'll go ahead and bring him some scratch corn as a reward for being so beautifully photogenic. And lastly, I checked on my dad's little pets. And of course, they were as busy as ever on this hot day, making lots of honey and pollinating the garden so that we'll have a bountiful harvest this year. And I'll leave you with this video of cute little bees taking little drinks out of the bucket of water my dad puts out for them every morning. And I'll see you next time with a fresh recipe from whatever is ready to harvest next week out of my garden. And if you like historical cooking and unusual cookbooks, here's two more videos you might enjoy. And make sure to like and subscribe for more foodie adventures.